Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog. This lesson is adding integers with different signs. I forgot to save this. Let me save this real quick. Okay. All right, so here's our common core strand for our most grooviest teachers. So uh, wait for that to stop saving there and then it'll get going. Okay, so and then our essential question is uh, how do we add integers with different signs? All right, let's go ahead and get started. So adding on a number line. So to find the sum of integers that have the same sign, such as 3 plus 2, we can start at the first number, 3, and then since 2 is positive, then we move 2 in the positive direction. And so we end up at 5 right there. So 3 plus 2 equals 5. And I know most of you guys are thinking, well, duh, I already know that. Well, it gets tricky when we start adding with different um, uh, signs, you guys, especially when we subtract in the next lesson. So I think after these next two lessons, you should be pretty good at this, you guys. So the sum of 3 plus 2 is the number that's uh, the absolute value of 2, which is 2 units uh, from 3 in the positive direction. Okay, and you're thinking, why is he making it so hard? You'll see why when we start doing like this. So the sum of integers that have different signs, such as 3 plus negative 2, we start at 3, and then we move the absolute value of negative 2, but we move it in the negative direction. So there it is, started at 3, and we're going to move two units to the left right there and so that's going to take us to one right there so three plus negative two is one it's the same as three minus two okay so the sum of three plus negative two is the number that's the absolute value of negative two units from three in the negative direction so the absolute value of negative two is two so it's um, we go two units to the left right there okay and so if i see this i start at this number this number tells me the direction to go, so I'm going to go this uh, in to the left because it's negative two units right there. Okay, all right. So let's model four plus negative three. So we're going to start at four. There it is at four, and we're going to move three units in the negative direction because that's a negative three. So I'm going to go that way, three units right there, and that's going to take us to one. So four plus negative three is one. Okay, let's model this. So here we're going to start at negative seven. And then we're going to move five units in the positive direction, okay? So, or to the right, okay? So uh, let's do that, and that's going to take us to negative two. So negative seven plus five equals negative two, okay? Number lines work great with this. How about this? Six plus negative six. Let's start at six, okay? And then we're going to move six units in uh, to the left or in the negative direction right there. So six plus negative six takes us to zero right there. And that takes us to this, you guys. Um, what if I said uh, predict negative two plus two and explain our prediction and check it by using a number line? Okay, well look, at, let's go back to this, you guys. Negative six plus, uh, or, I'm sorry, six plus negative six took us to zero. So that's what's gonna happen here. Negative two plus two is if I start at negative two and then I add two and go in the positive direction because it's adding two, it's gonna take me to zero, okay? So the prediction is it's gonna be uh, zero. So the sum uh, uh, is two units um, to the right in the positive direction from the first number, negative two, okay? So there it is, start at negative two, go two units to the right, and we it said um, check it by using the number line. So there it is checked off okay we can use uh, color counters to model adding integers that have different signs so here's an example so we can add a positive integer a yellow counter and a negative integer a red counter uh, to which is like adding zero because one plus negative one equals zero okay so we, the, the, we'll just uh, one red counter and one yellow counter form a zero pair and cancel each other out so let's do that with this one here you guys so model and find each sum so what we're going to do is start with three positive counters and two negative counters okay so three positive two negatives and i'll put the the yellows on top and the reds on the bottom so there's three positive counters two yellow counters and then what we can do is form the zeros okay so the zeros are all of these guys um, whoops let me let's see is that gonna let me get that hopefully yeah good okay so here's a zero right there so here's a zero here's a zero so if we cross those guys out right there what are we left with we're left with this one positive counter right there so so um, uh, there's one positive counter so three plus a negative two equals one okay pretty slick huh all right let's uh, model this you guys we're gonna start with uh, uh, six negative counters and and three positive counters okay I'm gonna put the reds on the bottom so six reds on the bottom three yellows on top okay so start with that and then we'll just uh, count out the zeros 
Okay, so form the zeros. There's the zeros right there. What's left? Only red guys, and these are negative. So what's left? Negative 3 right there. Okay, all right. Okay, how about this? Kyle's, Kyle models a, a sum of two integers. He uses more negative or red counters than positive uh, yellow counters. What should we, we predict about the sign of the sum? Okay, and explain. Well, that's pretty easy. So the sign's going to be negative. I know that because when Kyle forms zeros with the counters, there's going to be uh, more negative counters that are left over. So it's going to be negative, whatever he has right there. All right, so 5 plus negative 1. I'm going to use counters, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to use 5 uh, yellows on top and 1 red on the bottom right here. Okay, and then form the zeros. What are we left with? We're left with 4 positives or 4. Okay, this one's going to be four yellows on top, six reds on the bottom. Okay, and then what are we going to do? We're going to we're going to cancel out all of these zeros right here. And we're going to be left with these two negatives right here. So that equals negative 2. Okay? So one yellow, seven reds, yellows go on top, cross off the zero, negative 6. Okay? Cuz there's those uh, six reds guys left. Okay? Three yellow, four red, so we get negative 1 right there. Okay? All right, so uh, we've learned how to add integers with the same sign and how to add integers with different signs. So here's a table that shows the rules for adding integers. So if they have the same sign, then we just add the, the numbers together and then take the sign that they have. So add their absolute values of the integers and use this common sign that they have. So for example, you guys, if we had 3 plus 5, well, that's easy enough. 3 plus 5 equals 8. But negative 2 plus negative 7, well, 2 plus 7 equals 9. The absolute value of that is 2. The absolute value of that is 7. But we take the sign that they both have, so it's negative 9 right there, okay? If they have different signs, then we subtract uh, the lesser absolute value from the greater absolute value. So, so let's say, um, uh, well, I'll show you in just a second. And then use the sign with the integer that has the greater absolute value. And that one's you're thinking, what? All right, so for example, you guys, if I, so the absolute value of this is 3, the absolute value of this is 5. So 5 minus 3 is 2, but we take the one that the sign that has the bigger absolute value. So we're going to, this is going to be negative 2. Okay, absolute value of negative 10 is 10, the absolute value of 1 is 1, 10 minus 1 equals 9, but since this one's bigger, then it's going to be negative 9, okay? And when we're adding a number and it's opposite, it always equals 0, and that's called the additive inverse. You'll see that more in high school, you guys, that, that definition, the additive inverse. So all that means is you're adding a number and it's opposite, so 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. Negative 11 plus 11 equals 0, 1 half plus negative 1 half equals 0, and so on. Okay, so let's find each sum here. Okay, so here we're going to do um, uh, take the absolute value of this is 11, the absolute value of this is 6, so we do 11 minus 6, which is 5, and then since this one's bigger, it's going to be negative 5. Okay, so Okay, so we're going to do uh, absolute value of 11 minus the absolute value of 6, and then we're going to use the sign that has the greater absolute value, so it's negative. Okay, negative 37 plus 37, that just equals 0. Okay, the, um, oops, that should be a plus 37. I was getting a little carried away right there. Let me change that to a 7. There we go. Uh, okay, so you'll see I make mistakes all the time, you guys. All right. So uh, negative 51 plus 23. So uh, negative absolute value, negative 51 is 51. So I'm going to subtract the bigger absolute value and then take the sign, okay? So um, right here, uh, the absolute value of this is 51 minus 23. 51 minus 23 does equal 28, but since this has the bigger absolute value, it's negative 28. Okay, the absolute value of that is 10, the absolute value of that is 18, so we're going to do the, the absolute value of 18 minus the absolute value of 10, which is 8, and then we take the sign that has the bigger, which so it's going to be negative 8. Okay, 13 plus negative 13 is 0. Okay, 25 plus negative 25, well if I subtract those, I get 1, but I take the bigger of the 2 right there. Alright you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and take care.